Hello, I am Mr. Grimm, and this is a program that you've been waiting for. This is the one that each and every one of you have been waiting for. Susan's death, my death. It's the one you've been waiting for. Shall we get the death on the road? Shall we get started? You waiting for something? Are you? I might come after you before this. Let's get this started. Yep, that's what's going to be happening. Well, I see you've all joined me tonight. You're waiting to see me die, right? Or should I say, you're waiting to see Susan die, right? No, I'm not talking about her, I'm talking about me. Yes, I'm for real. There's only one little problem. There's one little problem, my friend. I was supposed to die of a terrible disease. And, uh, well, unfortunately, somebody let me down. I'm sorry about that. I'm not going to disappoint you, though. I was supposed to die of a terrible disease by now. But, unfortunately, somebody let me down. I know you're all boo-hoo and crying about that, right? But hold it right there. You hold it right there, because I'm not going to let you down. There's another solution to this. It's called this. It's called sticking myself in a gut. So that's what I'm going to do. And I invite each and every one of you to watch me. Because this is what you've been waiting for, right? It is what you've been waiting for, right? You've been waiting to see me kill myself? You're waiting to see me die and fall in this floor and blood all over the floor, right? Well, I'm not going to let you down. We're going to have a very interesting show because afterwards I'm going to disappear. That's what you want, right? You chase me down the highway, you chase me down the road, you, you do everything you can think of. You tell me that you want me, you want Susan dead. Well, this is the answer because, uh, it's over! You ready? You ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready for me to stick myself? And yes, I'm for real. I am dead. I'm real. I'm telling you the truth. I'm so tired of all this. Each and every one of you, you know what? I'm going to come for you first, maybe. But no, I'm not going to let you down. Are we ready for this? Are we ready? Are we ready? Are you waiting for this? Are you? You want to know something? You want to know something? It ain't even blood on it, is there? You want blood out there, don't you? Each and every one of you has tuned in all these weeks to watch me die. I hope you learned something. And you want to know what that is? You want me to die? You want me to stick myself? Oh my God! Uh. You want that, right? You don't know something? There's a problem with this world. The problem is you. You're sitting here waiting for me to die. That's the problem. The problem is hate and anger and violence. I am Mr. Death, and I ought to know because I get all the people that you wind up hurting. I get them in my realm. You don't got to deal with them. I have to. I hope you learned something today, my friend, because you want to know something. If you tune into Susan's program, if you tune into the Dance of Life, and the Dance of Life Dancer, you're going to learn something, because you know what the meaning of life is? You know what the first rule is of Susan's program, the Dance of Life? Do you want to know what that is? No, that isn't what it is. Right there. Mr. Graham, stay over there and shut up. You want to know what the, 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 the meaning is, my friend? I don't destroy life. You do. You're the one that destroys life, not me. You are the one that destroys people. I am Mr. Grimm. I only take them after you destroy them. I am your worst nightmare. I am death. You still want me to, still want me to stick myself, don't you? You do, don't you? You do. That proves right there. Everybody that's sitting there waiting for me to stick this into my heart, or whatever, 
doesn't understand the meaning of nothing. You don't understand the meaning of life. All you understand is how to hurt somebody. You don't know the meaning of nothing. You don't know very much about Susan either. You know nothing about her except this crap that you make up about her. And all these, these twisted lies. And it's told at this museum and every place else. My museum? You believe the lies? Susan doesn't destroy life. I'm sorry. Susan doesn't destroy life. <coughs> you do. You destroy life. But you're sitting there. You're still waiting for me to come. You're still waiting for me to do this, ain't you? And in a way, I can't let you down, can I? Promise is a promise, right? I got two of them. Are they real? Yeah. They're real. They're steel. They're real. You're waiting for me to stick this into my gut. And you're waiting for me to fall down and die, right? Well, are we going to do this? Ah, God, help me! You're problem. You're sick. You know that? So that's supposed to be my realm. I am death, and don't you forget it. You want to know something? I think I've changed my mind. I think I'm going to come out after you first. I think I'm coming out after all of you to teach you all a lesson. To teach everybody a lesson to the meaning of life. Because you don't know what it is. You sit there and you read the Bible. You sit there and you blame this and that on religion. You blame this on Susan. Susan hasn't done nothing to you. You've done it to yourself. I hope you learned a lesson in life. Because you want to know something? Halloween ain't the only time you're going to be seeing me. You're going to see the, You're going to see my face forever. Because you want to know why? All you are is full of hatred and demons and whatever. Discrimination, anger, that's what you are. You want to know something? You want to know something? I'm tired of it. You're sitting there you're waiting to see me fall on the floor and die. Burn, my friend. Because I'm going to, I decided to come after you first. How do you like that? You like death and falling on the floor and hatred so much? Suppose I come after you first and take you all the hell with me. How about that one? You don't want to see that, though, do you? Hell no. You want to see me stick this knife into my heart. Right? And you said that I got a problem. You want to see me stick this into my heart, right? You think I got the problem, or do you think it's you that's got the problem? Stop that, Jason. I'm having a serious conversation about death here. You think it's you that's got the problem, my friend. I think you got the problem. You want this knife in the gut? Here it is. You're the one that's got the problem, not me. You sit there and you say there's something wrong with me. You say there's something wrong with Susan. You say she's crazy. You say all this stuff about her. And you're standing there watching this right now, waiting for me to stick this knife into my gut. And you say that I got a problem. You want to know something? You're sick and twisted. I am the master of all death. And I know that you're sick and twisted because I'm going to be in your nightmares. In fact, in fact, you're going to see me tonight when you go to sleep. Each and every one of you, you're going to see me and I'm going to be sticking this into my gut. You know what? I might stick it into yours too. That's all you want, right? You want death and destruction and hatred. Go over there and hate that person over there. Hate her because she's different. Hate this person over here because they're in a wheelchair. You want to know something? You're twisted up. Each and every one of you. And you too in that museum and you over there in hell and the devil and my mom and everybody else. There's my mom right there. You're sick and twisted too. You wear your mask and you, you disguise. Oh my God. You know, all you Christians, all you religious people, you don't know the meaning of life. You don't know the first word of life. All you know is how to hurt somebody. That's all you know how to do. You don't know the meaning of the Bible that you open up and read. You know, so I am the master of death. And I know the meaning of life better than you ever, ever, ever will. It's about accepting somebody as they are. You don't, you know, accept somebody as they are. What was that, Jason? You want to stand and watch me stick this knife into my gut at the end of this program. That's why you're still with me, right? You want me to stick this into my heart. Ah! And you think that you're civilized. 
More than I am. You want her dead, you chase her down the damn road 107 miles an hour, and you sit there and you lie about her every way you can possibly lie and make up a whole great big legend, and you expect, you expect that to be believed? You know what, it might be believed by these fools in the world. But you know what, I am Mr. Grimm, I'm dead, I know the truth. And you don't, you're blind. You take the two by four out of your eyes. Oh, you people out there, take the two by four out of your eyes before you sit there and judge somebody else because you don't know that damn about the meaning of life. I need to teach you something, right? When you're sitting there, you're facing death. You're facing somebody with one of these. Ah, maybe you'll understand the meaning of life because you don't know nothing about it. All you know how to do is hurt somebody. You know something, I'm tired of it. I am sick of it. You sit there and you chase Susan down the street on the road 100 miles an hour. Oh, that's my place, you know what I mean? Your place is to go to hell. What you're all going, you're going to all see me someday. I'm going to be there and I'm going to be laughing my face off with you. No, I'm going to be laughing more than that off with you. You hear all the people burning in hell? You hear it? You hear the people burning up in hell? You hear the, the souls burning in hell? You're going to be joining me there. Christians too, all you people, you reject people because they're different than you. You don't know the meaning of life. Come and join me and I'll show you what it means. Well, we got two minutes left. You're waiting for this, right? Waiting for me to fall down and die. And you're saying that something's wrong with Susan. There's nothing wrong with her. There's something wrong with you. You has got the problem. Not her. Hell, I might ask her to join me in my realm and rule the world. What do you think of that? You wanna, would you like to do that, Susan? Would you like to join me in my realm of, of be the master of the world? You know you can. All you gotta do is believe. And all you gotta do is believe. And if you start believing hard enough, you might be able to put this out of your mind and really do something creative with the world. Like love one another instead of hate. You still want to see me kill, you're still waiting for, for me to do this though, right? You waiting for me to kill myself, right? That's what you want, you want me to die, right? You know what? You're dead, and you are, and you are, and you're over there sitting in that chair. You have been for a long time. You're just too stupid to bury yourself, that's all. I'm Mr. Grimm, I'm dead. You're too, you don't know how to put pull up the, the, the lid down on your coffin. Because you've been dead for a long time. A long time. You don't know the meaning of life. I'm going to teach it to you. I am going to teach you about the meaning of life, and I'm death. You want to know something? Death, the master of lies. And you are it. You are the master, the queen of lies. I'm going to be in my nightmares. I'm going to be in your nightmares. And you want to know something? Share this meaning with everybody. Happy Halloween. And I hope each and every one of you have a great year. Because you want to know something? You really do need to learn something. You're sitting there waiting for somebody to stick a knife in their guts and you're sitting there saying there's something wrong with the Susan. Something wrong with Susan. There's something wrong with each one of you people out there. And you better learn the meaning of life before you really die. I'm saying and I'm telling you the truth. This is the most important words I've ever said. You're sitting there waiting for somebody to cut their throat. Is that what you want? You want me to cut my throat right now, ear to ear? And you're saying there's something wrong with Susan. There's something wrong with each and every one of you. You're all going to hell with me. Each and every one of you. So, happy Halloween, everybody. Join me in hell. I am Mr. Grimm, the Museum of Lies and Torment and Torture. Thank you. Good night.